Now the continuing covers of a deadly wreck that happened this morning on future I-26 near Woodfin. We now know that a woman was killed. Witnesses say that she crashed into the back end of a truck. We first broke the story on News 13 at noon today. News 13's Kimberly King is streaming live from the scene with the latest. Kim. Larry, Woodfin's police chief tells me that the female driver who died was in her mid-20s, but investigators have not released her identity or where she was from. But we do know that traffic was backed up here for more than four and a half hours now. I-26 is now moving after the lane was closed as investigators did their work. The wreck happened at 1145 this morning in the right-hand westbound lane of I-26, just north of the Woodfin exit. We do know the female driver in her 20s was driving a Nissan. Detectives on scene have confirmed to us she ran into the back of a red flatbed truck owned by Summit Building Supply. That driver's boss says his employee was extremely shaken. He saw the vehicle coming, and evidently the vehicle did not see him. And he heard the tire sprawl just as just before him passed. So it sounded like maybe the person didn't see the vehicle because it was too late. Traffic was backed up on 26 for miles as detectives worked the scene trying to reconstruct what led to the deadly wreck. Earlier this morning, there was another wreck, as we mentioned, on 26, further west towards Weaverville at the new stop road in Weaverville exit. This wreck happened in backed up traffic behind the first wreck. Stokes Austin says his employee had been an excellent driver for them, the one that we spoke to, and had just dropped off building materials to Buncombe County and was headed back to work. Reporting live along I-26 at the Woodfin exit, Kimberly King, News 13.